158 train loads, not individuals. They're train loads of people. Germany, 1944. Over 216,000 Jews from Eastern Europe were taken by force to Auschwitz concentration camp during World War II. Many were murdered. 89-year-old John Breyer, a U.S. citizen living in Philadelphia, may be on his way back to Germany. Authorities say he worked at Auschwitz and was complicit in those murders as an armed guard. He is um, guarding al along with all the other guards uh, who were in that circumstance in the um, Death's Head Battalion that he belonged to, uh, were um, made it possible for those killings. The United States has arrested Breyer at Germany's request. Officials there now want him extradited. Breyer has been charged with a crime in Germany. We have an extradition treaty with Germany. He is being turned over, arrested here, and turned over to the German government consistent with our treaty with Germany, which says we will help you enforce your laws. The U.S. has known about Breyer for many years. In the 1990s, federal authorities tried to strip him of his citizenship when he admitted to serving as an armed guard at Auschwitz and other concentration camps. Among the reasons he remained in the U.S., a court found he was only 17 years old when he joined a Nazi unit. But every time authorities spoke to Breyer, he gave alleged statements that may come back to haunt him. According to the federal complaint, he knew that people would be cremated and could see the smoke, but did not know how the prisoners had died, and that he may have fired into the air occasionally. This isn't the first time the U.S. has helped Germany. Another Nazi guard, John Demjanjuk, was extradited in 2009 after living in the U.S. for over 50 years. He died in Germany in 2012. What Breyer has on his side, experts say, is time. Memories fade. Witnesses die. One, one of the core issues in a case like this is how can the German government, any government, charge someone with a crime so long after the actual crime? How can you have the evidence? How can you put on witnesses? How can you prove what happened in the 1940s?